All right, so I'm going to be uh, just give an example of uh, mounting workpiece on milling machine table using toe clamps and uh, and step blocks. These are uh, this is just a ground block I have in my box, and uh, I have some standard toe clamps, step blocks out of my uh, out of my set. And uh, I also want to point out that I use a lot for uh, to to get quick alignment on on parts, and it's pretty rough. Is uh, a, uh, a three-quarter inch piece of bar stock. You can set it down in the uh, in the. Uh, I'm a little lost for words right now. But in the T-slot, there are chamfers on on the face of each T-slot, and they're relatively accurate. Probably accurate enough to to just use to all right, bump that up against there and have the uh, have the part generally straight. So I'm going to start out with uh, our toe clamp and I want to cover the, the angle of the clamp itself. So right now we're on a downward angle towards the back to give you a gross representation of that. So I think everybody uh, watching this can look at this and go, yeah, that's, that's, that's not good. We're holding on to the sharp edge right here. It's going to want to push the part away. This is not really going to work. So. Uh, the closer you get to level, the more you will see the the point change here. So you're still clamping on the edge of the block and still kind of pushing it away when you clamp. Where you should be is with the back of the clamp higher than the front of the clamp. The reason for that is that it allows you to exert more downward force on your workpiece because you're definitely on this flat surface and not on this edge. So that, uh, that's going to help. The other thing I want to show you is we we'll do. Alright, so I'm going to clamp this. Even, even, even though the, the angle is correct, when I clamp down here, I have this, this stud all the way in the back of the slot in the clamp, which puts the, the stud closer to the step block than the workpiece. And that means you're going to be putting more force on that step block than on the workpiece. That is something that is, uh, is, it is very, very bad. You have easy, easy movement here, not so easy movement here. So you want it to be the other way around. You want to have as much, you want to have this stud as close to the workpiece as possible. You also may want to use uh, a, a piece of shim. I use a, uh, a penny, the copper coating is uh, soft enough that it's a non-marring surface and uh, it's, a, uh, it's a good little shim I keep pennies in my toolbox all the time so you go up against your uh, pin or bar in the back and, and clamp it right up and that, that should get you where you need to be as far as proper clamping is concerned higher in the back closer to the workpiece as close to the work pieces you can get uh, really depends on where you're going. A block like this for light milling, it's nice and flat. It's going to hold down to this surface pretty well. Uh, yeah, two clamps will probably do it, but the more the more clamps you have, the better, especially for uh, for rough milling. Now the the pin that I use to line things up in the back. I'll, uh, let's see how uh, how close that is being straight. Alright. That's roughly right. Alright. Just to give you an idea, let's uh, get the camera a little closer here. Every machine is going to be a little bit different, but we're already done with this, this with this machine, so I kind of know how accurate it is. We'll, uh,
So within five thou, probably probably do better than that. Yeah, it wasn't all the way up against the uh, the pin, but. In any case, it should get you uh, fairly straight really, really quickly. All right. I hope this has been helpful. Uh, if you have any questions or anything, please, uh, please feel free to send me a message or uh, drop a comment in. Thanks for watching.